Hey friends, Steve Guttenberg here, and I am the Audiophiliac. But today I want to talk about the early days of digital. You know, before I ever heard a CD, I was, I was expecting a lot. I was expecting that music would sound hugely more realistic, more believable, more fully developed, more present in my room. After all, CDs and digital formats in general had razor flat frequency response. They had gigantically better signal to noise ratio. They had much better stereo separation. And uh, they had no speed variations, no wow or flutter. And those things all together should have added up to a huge step forward in sound reproduction, meaning it would sound more real. Pianos would sound more like real pianos. Bass drums would sound like bass drums. Drum kits would sound more like drum kits, electric guitars. Everything, orchestras, jazz bands, everything, if it was properly recorded, would sound so much more realistic. That was my expectation. And then when I finally heard digital for the first time, it didn't. It didn't sound like that at all. It, it didn't sound bad. I didn't even think that first generation digital players in 1982, 1983 sounded bad. They didn't sound bad. They just didn't sound like vinyl. They didn't sound like analog. Some people preferred analog over digital. I did. But the main point I'm trying to make here is, these are early days. I'm just saying it should have been a huge step forward because in every, well, not every, but let's say most measurable ways, digital was and is better than analog tape, a master analog tape. All, practically all of the music you've ever heard in your life recorded before the 80s was analog tape. And music after 1980 gradually became more and more digital, you know, recordings. But in either case, they didn't sound hugely more real on CD. I borrowed a Sony SACD play, a Sony CD player. I had a Lin LP12 with a Supex cartridge at that point, and I compared them with the same recordings. And I'd say, eh, maybe the digital is a little flatter. I mean, dimensionally flatter a little harder, but the differences between them were not huge. I expected huge difference. I, before I heard digital, I expected digital to just blow away analog because it was in every, or every nearly every measurable way, way superior. And that was a turning point for me because I learned that when things measure better by a large margin, that does not translate into better more realistic, let's say that, let's define better as more realistic, more believable sound. That's still true, even with the latest high resolution digital formats. That is not, they don't get you miles better, closer to believable. We could say we like the sound, it's clear, it's more transparent, blah, blah. Yes, yes, all of those audiophile terms can apply to what you think, high res, digital, etc., versus analog. We can each choose our own to say which one is better. But in the end, neither one sounds real. I have a friend who plays acoustic guitar, sit between your speakers and play an acoustic guitar, and then play a really good recording of acoustic guitar. <laughs> ain't ain't going to be close. I don't care what your speakers are. I don't care what your system is. Analog or digital recording, it's not going to sound like that guitar. If you know someone who plays flute, or you luckily enough to have a piano in that room. The piano or flute or whatever will not sound nearly, the, the real thing will sound gigantically better than the best recordings. It's just that way. So we've, we've come a long way, but neither analog or digital gets us fully there. And just because something measures better doesn't make it better. There's an X factor here. Something is missing in this equation that would get us hugely closer to realistic sound. It's not flatter frequency response. It's not better signal to noise. It's not lower distortion. It's not any of those things. It's something else. I don't know what that something else is. If you have a hint, if you have a clue, hey, let me know. I'm really curious. Tell me all about it. My name is Steve Guttenberg, and I am the Audiophiliac. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like these little rants, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.